because Mexico claims Siski too, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll definitely see. Uh, actually, Siski's also French, if depending on who you ask here. Siski, <laughs> yeah, Siski with the O. But yeah, this should uh, definitely be interesting to see how this plays out. Right now, man. Hey, listen, if you want to see uh, Riddles make it, let me see some ones in the chat. If you are a super semi supporter, let me see some twos as we get started here right now. Starting off on PS2 to get things started. Uh, Terry versus Young Link, very going to be. Uh, I, I guess the way I kind of approach this matchup uh, as Ganon anyway is like Young Link is going to be basically playing the role of zoner. So I got to play the role of zone breaker and I got to like kind of weave around the projectiles, jump, double jump a lot. Terry, as a character, has some decent specials to kind of like break through and a lot of great combo starters. But right now, both of these guys not holding back any punches at all. Lots of damage already taken within 30 seconds for both mm -hmm. players. Yeah, kind of like what you mentioned there too. Uh, being the zone breaker uh terry does have those great burst options in those specials the burning knuckle and the crack shoot uh huge burst options right and as we can see right now super semi doing a great job building up that damage but that damage comes at a cost as well as you give terry the go meter and uh we'll see what happens here man this could be bad news if you're not careful yeah both these players clearly a kill percent but i've seen so many young link stocks like survive like uh young link opponents survive to 200 percent so i would still say the real favor <laughs> Oh, 169 right now. Super Semi's doing a good job. That could have been bad news for him, though. When he went for that grab, he got a little bit lucky there with uh, Riddles being a little too early to pull the trigger, and he got that up smash to close that one out. Yeah, absolutely crazy stuff right here. Great, like, uh, holding the shield right there, getting that first stock, and he only has a lot of mileage here to be able to continue this lead even more. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Back throw. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he fell out of that. I think he DI'd straight down. So good stuff. But yeah. <laughs> Power dunk. Going to be able to close that one out. Great stuff. Yeah, actually, kind of crazy right here. Oh, man. Even game. And then the combo starters are coming to play from Terry. Like, Riddles is phenomenal at just like taking one hit and getting so much off of it. Like, he's got two hits. He's at 72 or 71. And now he's dead. Oh my God, that forward smash closing out that second stock. Yeah, Riddles definitely started off a little bit slow here. Oh my goodness, he is turning it up right now. Yo, second stock Riddles, something else. <laughs> yeah. All right, but there we go. We got the jab, one, two, three. Super Semi, what's the play here? Nair's off the ground, okay. There we go, putting a little bit of pressure down there. Absolutely brutal. Like that second stock, I'm still shaking from it. <laughs> oh my god, that was actually great. The down tilt called out the air dodge into another down tilt. Look at this oh, man, dude. Riddles. Yeah, the call. Out. Oh, that's oh, I thought he was gonna get like a jab to like Uppy or something on the platform. Uh, it would have been sick if he uh, if he had go like right now. <laughs> He's looking for it too. He's looking for uh, a jab on the shield, trying to find something through it. But man, Buster Wolf getting the first game under his belt. Man, Riddles going nutty. And uh, Riddles looks I don't like know, what he has he... a concern. It looks like between these guys, maybe something with the audio or something with the monitor. But uh, absolutely crazy game. Maybe that. Oh, does he have something plugged into the to the switch? Like, what's going on here? Uh, I'm not sure if they, there's something with the audio or something with the monitor. Both the, both players seem to be responding. Oh, the, the game one played out in full, but I guess we're just waiting to see what the equipment's going to look like. Catch me 29. My favorite fast food uh, actually is a spot you probably don't know called um, Jack's Hot Dogs up in North Adams, Massachusetts. It's my favorite fast food spot. It's been uh, in place. It's been operating for like over 100 years. Like they are old fast food. Uh, they've got amazing cheese dogs and cheese fries are top notch. So that's my favorite spot. Oh, wait, but here we go. Hey, I'm glad I got to talk about my favorite fast food. Let's talk about my favorite fast place game pay. Wow. Fast pace hey, gameplay. I'm just so excited to get back into this game. Yeah, it's been quite a little bit, but it looks like we got it back in. Both players are super comfortable and ready to play for their lives right here as they get the last top eight slot. Like, Super Semi did a really good job in the first stock of the last game, but the adaptation for middles, and so far, the extra damage right here is insane. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Got the pressure at the ledge right now. Forward throw to get him off stage. All right. Ooh. Oh, only got the Ford Air 1, but now we got Go on deck as well here. This is going to be a very tough spot for Super Semi to deal with. Oh, the parry! What a beast! 
I can't save him from it twice. So it's like imagine if you only got one go on that with like kind of like how like uh, Kazuya has it, but no, he's got infinite uses. So you parried one, here's another. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Definitely a bit of a rough spot there, but um, I mean it is what it is at that point. He's trying to find a way to close this out. Forward air, not gonna be able to hit that. Yeah, so looking to uh, apply this extra pressure to down air. Actually, gonna pogo on top of Terry. He's a little heavier than he looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not gonna get a smash. We're gonna offer a back air instead. We can see a second stock. There it goes, baby. <laughs> 173. Hey, man, sometimes you gotta stall your opponent out to get that game 2W. You know what I'm talking about? We got that forward air coming through, closing out that first stock. Finally getting on the board here, Super Semi, but man, Riddles is certainly going absolutely nutty yeah one of the, the most explosive players in the business for good reason and this man is just like obliterating stocks like yeah we had to wait a long time for it but here he is just trying to end it just as much yep okay like that power wave trading with the projectiles here Ooh, got the pogo stick the first hit wasn't able to find the second okay keep that pressure up yeah that's a low shield last stock here for semi kind of bleeding here oh yep the down tilt catching him on the roll in into the burning knuckle closing out that last stock game two in riddle's favor We'll see how this plays out in game three, man. Super Semi back against the wall. What are you made of, man? Yeah, playing with so much like composure, just like ready to deal with Young Link. This is like a way different matchup than a regular zoner. It's like not like fighting like Samus or like Belmont or uh, anything of that like. Like fighting the Links is just like way differently for some reason. So uh, the have to deal really well up close and then uh semi i think it just has to make it so that riddles gets walled out can't close that gap but like, a player like riddles is not going to let you do that mm -hmm. yeah i mean uh, we'll see what happens you see super semi taking their time thinking about what the potential play is here yeah, potential be the final game of top 32 here man it's looking really rough i mean it, it riddles one of the world's finest for a reason i don't know if semi's got it in it to win uh three games let alone like one yeah it's gonna be a tough one for sure but there we go forward tilt into the crack shoot try to get some damage on the board i mean 63 is a lot as well you do got to respect that young link nair early damage here but you're just giving him go mm -hmm. Ooh, okay yeah he's gonna be able to make it back i feel like at this point yeah take a little bit of that extra damage now you got go on board and honestly now the problem is just getting back on stage but there we go just like that and there into the burning knuckle and now that could be a stock baby again on up here oh my god dude he just slowly creeped him up into that sayonara man that's gonna be the end of your stock and now we have riddles potentially gonna be a 3-0 here as a top eight qualifier here at ultimate one four yeah, there we go. Up smash, 100% going to clean that one up. 18% is all you're going to get on that second stock here. But oh, man, coming right into play, 47 to get things started. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, absolutely disgusting. Riddles completely obliterates his next stock, and now Semi on his tournament stock. All right. Nice little bit of damage here, 63%. Super Semi, you're falling apart, man. Oh, that would have been a huge call out in that forward smash. You catch on the landing right there. There's a boomerang to forward air, but still needs to do so much work to, dealing with two whole Terry stocks just to stay alive in this tournament. Ooh. The forward air. Yep, but 111 now. I don't know if he wanted to toss that bomb out like that. I think he wanted to toss it straight down, just end up getting the wrong place. But 93%. Oh, that was huge. I, I think he knew that Riddles was going to mix up his recovery, so he like, forced no it out. Right there. That's not going to do it across stage now. Yep, but he jumps, so he's got no jump. Yeah, this is a really bad spot to be in. Forward throw is going to be extra damage. <laughs> and that bomb, too. <laughs> All Terry has to do is breathe on him. Doesn't even need to go. Yeah, honestly, at this point, the rapid jab, though, 151. Super Semi's got to find the play here. Looking for that nair, but the power dunk is going to be it. And Riddles finds his way into the ultimate wanted for top eight over Super Semi. They're going to be taking on Chad. Yep. 3 0 fashion. We get Canada versus Mexico on one end, and then uh, America versus Japan on the other end of losers. And then Siski being the sole European representative dealing with the rest of Japan and winners. So, absolutely crazy tournament so far.